Think about this. If you are heading to the beach for Labor Day weekend, doctors say you have an increased risk of contracting flesh eating bacteria. They say it's because of climate change. Melissa Correa breaks down the research. All eyes are on Houston as doctors here hustle to develop a vaccine for Vibrio. It's a flesh eating bacteria that lives naturally in the water. By the time the vaccine is ready in 2030, doctors think more people will need it because water everywhere is getting warmer. You see, Vibrio needs a mix of fresh and salt water and warm temperatures. And it's in the country's bays where those conditions allow the bacteria to thrive. From new cases just reported in the Chesapeake and Delaware bays all the way down to Matagorda Bay where Robbie Seiler contracted Vibrio last month. We were in the water for maybe 10 minutes, wade fishing, and got back in the boat. Less than two days later is when we went to the hospital. He lost his left leg after contracting the bacteria. Gary Evans died in June after spending time in the same Texas Bay. At least 143 people have contracted Vibrio in Texas so far this year. The state says the number of confirmed cases is increasing because testing for the bacteria is becoming easier. And while people with open wounds should never go into the water, the most common way to contract Vibrio is by eating shellfish, which is why Texas A&M Galveston is working with the FDA to test oysters. If your seafood is cooked, the Vibrio bacteria are killed, so they do not really pose a problem whatsoever. But in people who are immunocompromised that have some sort of reason that their body has a hard time fighting off a strong infection, those people really need to be careful of eating undercooked or raw seafood. So while the bacteria itself is nothing new, changes in temperature and testing are connected to the hundreds of confirmed cases we're now seeing across the country this year. Melissa Correa, KHOU 11 News. The state does track bacteria levels off the coast, but remember it measures Fecal levels, not for Vibrio, the flesh-eating bacteria. We have a link to where you can get the latest. Go to khou.com.